Hey guys, in this video, we have some work from home jobs that you can do without having to talk on the phone. So the first one that's hiring right now is at a company called Awesome Motive. AwesomeMotive.com is the website. They help small businesses grow and compete with the big guys. They have a job right now called a content writer available. And these are typically fairly laid back jobs. And this is a fully remote position. They do tell you Palm Beach gardens florida but you can disregard that because that is just where the headquarters is that doesn't mean you have to be located there or near there to apply for this job this is also a full-time position so as a content writer also motive you will be responsible for writing the words that attract educate and convert visitors into subscribers and buyers for the brands they are looking for an attention to detail and the type of person they want is someone who has the ability to research and understand technical concepts, then explain them in simple terms to people who aren't tech savvy. You can accept requested edits with a professional attitude, understanding that even the best writers have room for improvement. You're a self-starter who is comfortable creating complete articles with minimal direction, like the targeted keywords in a blog title. So you're not going to be micromanaged here. You're going to have some creative freedom, which is nice. You're an excellent communicator. You're results oriented and focused on the outcome of your writing, not just the words. So you, you know, probably help to actually care about the subject. You have a passion for digital marketing. It's the thing you could talk about all day long and that your friends and family wish you stopped talking about. So if you ever find yourself looking up strategies for digital marketing even when you're not getting paid to do so that would be a good indicator of that while you don't need to be an expert in these areas it certainly helps if you have a general understanding of blogging email marketing lead generation e-commerce and search engine optimization bonus if you're familiar with awesome motive products like wp beginner wp forums and many others now common responsibilities include but are not limited to researching, writing, and self-editing three to five assigned blog posts a week. So that's one of the main things you want to look at for content writer positions. How many pieces of content do you have to create every week? So you're really, you're really just doing you know, either half or one full post a day on average, which isn't very bad at all, especially when you're working eight hours a day. You have plenty of time to create very good articles. So you'll create your own featured images and screenshots for each blog post as well, and you know, Lots of tools out there that make that very quick and easy. Ensuring your content is well optimized for search engine rankings following the established guides. Research competitors ensure any comparisons made in articles are accurate and adequately positioned. Also motives benefits above competitors. You also craft copy to articulate the benefits of new features on the website. Updating pillar articles and existing content regularly. Writing guest posts or creating snippets of content related to the awesome motive owned brands when needed. Collaborate with customers to produce written case studies. Keeping your content status on the editorial calendar up to date at all times so the rest of your team can see what articles will be published and when. Acting as a peer editor for the other colleagues when needed. Participating as a valuable contributor to the growth team, which is responsible for growing the website traffic, email list, and new sales. And also helping the team craft better internal processes and systems by documenting your work and use, utilizing your project management tools to keep work on track. Now requirements for this, they do obviously want you to have writing and editing skills that allow you to research and write a well-structured article with impeccable grammar and spelling in a conversational tone. WordPress.org experience. You're comfortable using the WordPress block and classic editors, understand how plugins work and know how to install and configure them. So if you've ever you know, had your own WordPress website before or worked for another WordPress website, that would be very helpful. Copywriting, you can understand audiences and use their own language to position products as solutions to their pain points. And you have some persuasive writing as well. Ghostwriting, you can collaborate with brands to bring their ideas, stories, or experiences expertise to life through the written word image editing you can edit you can efficiently take screenshots resize and crop images add text borders or other elements compress images and upload and format them in wordpress to make them clear useful and could look good you can literally do that with just canva.com uh, seo you understand that seo is and what it is and why it's important it basically just makes it where people can find your content by searching google basic HTML, you can use the text editor in WordPress to add at attributes to links and to complete basic formatting of lists, subheadings, anchor links, etc. with HTML. Google Analytics, obviously, you know, what gets measured gets improved, so you're going to have to study your 
your numbers here. Time management, you can juggle multiple tasks and projects and prioritize your work efficiently or ineffectively to meet all deadlines. Previous freelancer remote work experience, personal computer with internet access, and availability to participate in audio or video meetings between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Benefits. So now we're getting to what you actually get yourself. Competitive salary, term life insurance, and accidental death and dismemberment for all full-time team members during employment. Health, dental, and vision insurance benefits for full-time U.S. employees. Health insurance benefits for all employees in India, Pakistan, Brazil, Ukraine, Philippines, Romania, and Kenya. You get to work from home. They're spread out all over the world, United States, Canada, Ukraine, etc. Unlimited paid time off after 90 days of employment. Holidays based on your location, which is nice. Again, this is a worldwide company, so that's why they say it's based on your location. So if you're in the U.S., most people get the same holidays. But if you're in the other side of the world, your holidays may be totally different. Paid maternity and paternity leave. They happily provide or reimburse software you need, as well as books or courses that help continued learning. They cover all costs of company travel, additional perks, which would be like the welcome box they send to new members, yearly anniversary gifts, and technology stipend each work anniversary. They give you the opportunity to solve challenging and meaningful problems that make a difference, ability to work with some of the best people, and no politics, BS, or jerks in their environment. So as far as what it's like to work at Awesome Motive, now you're looking for, again, a content writer. If you look at the hourly pay on average, you have nine people who submit salaries. They averaged around $25 per hour. So review-wise, as far as the company overall, 4.6 out of 5 stars, 91% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit-wise, at Awesome Motive, 4.2 out of 5 for their benefits. Obviously very good there as well. Then an interview-wise, 2.7 out of 5 difficulties, not too bad. And then the vast majority of people had a positive experience interviewing here. Next, we have a job at a company called Uscreen, which is a company that basically is an all-in-one membership platform helping creators generate more revenue through subscriptions, communities, apps, live streaming, etc. SEO outreach specialist is one they're still looking to fill right now. It's a full-time position. They do want some experience. They don't really say how much right there, but uh, here they'll get a little more in-depth about that. But what you're what you'll do here is determine key target audience cohorts and establish the strategy to outreach to each of them successfully, develop and pitch custom emails and that resonate with target audiences, plan, execute, and manage multiple offsite SEO campaigns. You also build and nurture relationships with bloggers, journalists, and creators, monitor and track traffic performance from achieved link placements and report to key stakeholders, collaborate across internal teams, including SEO, partnerships, content, and others, and relentlessly strive for improvement and ass assess the performance of your outreach to find areas of improvement. So as far as qualifications, creative marketer with at least three years of experience working in highly effective outreach programs, a lot of what you're doing is sending emails. You're going to reach out to people via email, usually bloggers and people like that, um, you know, maybe people on even LinkedIn or something, finding content creators and then building relationships and hopefully helping each other for the sake of SEO, which means you're trying to basically get backlinks to the websites. A proven track record of earning powerful links, brand mentions, and relationships, able to overlap at least four hours with morning to noon Eastern time. Now, they're not saying you have to live in a particular region of the world. They're just basically saying you need to be able to have some overlap with your hours so that you can probably, you know, make the uh, meetings and stuff like that. But you're a native or near English English speaker as well, a knack for relationship building and passion for networking, excellent communication, negotiation, project management skills, excellent copywriting and editing skills with an eye for detail, experience with SEO tools such as Ahrefs, SEMrush, and Buzzstream. You can easily work both independently and cross-functionally with other teams, strong organizational and time management skills, general SEO knowledge and experience are preferred, not necessarily required. And experience in creator economy is a strong advantage, not necessarily required. Now, the commitment to you, which is benefits, essentially, they know your worth and will compensate you competitively. Unlimited paid time off policy encourages every team member to take the time they need to unwind and recharge. Your growth is our growth. We'll provide you with access to best-in-class training workshops and conferences to help you develop and succeed in your role. A marathon, not a sprint. They make sure you have clear growth plans to help you get to the next level at Uscreen. It's 100% remote that you can work wherever your heart desires as long as you have access to stable internet and a conducive workspace. You also offer flexible, they also offer flexible parental leave. Your home office should be ergonomic and inspirational, so they give you a stipend for that. And if 
you don't want to work from home, you want a co-working space, maybe that makes you more productive. They'll help you pay for that as well. You're proud to offer personal development and mental wellness as a stipend, and then they also have you know virtual like company and social events. Now, as far as what's like to work here, as far as how much you could actually get paid, I didn't see enough information on here to draw a valid conclusion for how much you screen specifically would pay for this job. But typically, an SEO outreach specialist makes around sixty thousand a year, which is essentially twenty nine dollars per hour. As far as what it's like to work here at Uscreen, they have. 41 reviews, 4.2 out of 5 stars, 80% recommend working here to a friend, which is very solid. Benefit-wise, 3.8 out of 5 stars out of 5 ratings, also very solid. Interview-wise, 2.7 out of 5 difficulty, not bad at all. And then the majority of people had a positive experience interviewing here. Also, we have Chess.com. Chess.com is one of the largest gaming sites in the world and the number one platform for playing, learning, and enjoying chess. And, you know, they have a pretty big following. If you've seen them on YouTube, they have, you know, some of the biggest chess players in the world that are kind of like sponsored by them. Uh, media and thumbnail designers, one thing they're looking for right now, if you're trying to avoid being on the phone with customers and you're more of an introvert maybe and you're more creative, this is a job that could compensate you fairly well. We'll get to that in a second. But they basically want someone who loves designing, um, they love YouTube and content. You're an excellent designer, able to delight audiences with fun, clickable thumbnails. You have a strong sense of storytelling and are able to take a video title and brief and create a compelling thumbnail that captures the content and why viewers both inside and outside the chess community will love to watch the piece. You're able to implement a unique style and develop a brand identity for chess.com's thumbnails that is consistent with the company voice and brand. You have the analytics and are able to assess performance on the fly and modify designs when content isn't performing well. Now, the main thing you're going to basically uh, look at here, just being a YouTuber myself, is thumbnail usually impacts click-through rate. That's the main thing it impacts. So your basic, your job is basically to create high-quality thumbnails that makes people want to click on the videos, and they will tell if you are being successful by looking at your click-through rate. That's the main way they're going to figure out if you're successful at what you're doing. So. What you'll do here is design thumbnails for chess.com starting with original content on YouTube and possibly extending to other publications. Optimize thumbnails for chess.com's best performing archival content. Develop a distinct brand for chess.com's thumbnails. You'll also assess media performance and refine designs and strategies to optimize for evolving algorithms and public tastes. You will also collaborate with chess.com's creative team on said media stay engaged with the latest trends in thumbnails and identify new opportunities and creatively incorporate chess.com product and brand designs into thumbnails so again you're just making thumbnails for videos on youtube required skills three plus years of design experience experience designing successful thumbnails for youtube excellent in photoshop you get chess which beads, I don't think that means you have to be like someone who plays all the time, but you at least understand it. Excellent communicator and collaborator, lifelong learner, and experience with tools like AE Blender or AI tools, or AI images, I should say, is optional. Now, this is a full-time position. You can work 100% literally from anywhere in the world. They hire worldwide here. So as far as how much you can get paid here, so the, I didn't find enough information on their salaries page for this particular job for chess.com. So if you look up a typical thumbnail creator, that's typically around 84,000 a year. So apparently this job has really um, gotten a lot of traction the last few years because just a typical graphic designer, I don't think makes that much. But you know, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that'll pay top dollar for the best thumbnails apparently. And a lot of companies as well, not just small YouTubers. But as far as reviews, they have 4.7 out of 5 stars, 92% recommend working here to a friend. They have one benefit rating, which is 5 stars, but, you know, obviously a small sample size. As far as interviews, the process here is pretty solid, pretty much on par with the other companies I've showed you. 2.7 out of 5 difficulty, 78% uh, positive compared to only 14% negative, which is a great split for the experience applying somewhere. Last but not least, we have inksub.com, which is a company that also hires worldwide and is looking for a WordPress support specialist at Campus Press. So this is a job, I think I mentioned their sales job the other day, but this is a more traditional customer support job where you're doing email support. Now they want you to be available to work the following schedule. So this is a obviously an odd 
schedule, but depending on what time zone you're in around the world, this might be a typical like nine to five for you, depending on your location. So just, you need to look up that time zone, UTC, 7 p.m. to 3 a.m., um, and then figure out like if that is okay with your lifestyle in your part of the world. Again, this will vary the times that you need to be available are this based on this time zone. That doesn't mean you have to live in that time zone. So the role will involve providing support by email to EduBlogs and Campus Press customers, which I believe are just a couple of the products that they've created, assisting with and solving all manners of WordPress questions with style, contributing to testing and QA with updates to WordPress core plugins and themes, coordinating with developers over bugs, features, and cool new stuff, being an active part of the Ink Sub team as well. Requirements, have a really good familiarity with WordPress, might even be able to code a bit or a lot even better. Experience of WordPress multi-site networks, amazingly great communication skills, impressive response times, typing speed, interpersonal skills, including the power to swiftly build rapport with both current and potential customers. You're a great team player, keen on working in an expanding, motivated, and distributed support team. You enjoy collaborating with others and don't back down from a challenge, and you love people and yourself. This is also a full-time 40-hour-per-week position, and benefits include flexibility, very attractive working conditions, 28 days to 35 days of paid leave per year, opportunities for paid travel to attend word camps and other industry conferences, long service leave, three months off paid after you've been with us for a whole year, or for a while, I guess, not more. It's could be a lot more in a year. This is basically a sabbatical. So most companies that I've covered, they do a sabbatical after you've been there like five years and then it's like every five years after that. That's typically how most companies do it. Um, could obviously be more or less depending on the company, but up to two months salary bonus based on company growth targets. Technology budgets every three years, the longer you serve, the higher you deserve. And general expenses budget yearly. The longer you work, the more you get. So some pretty solid benefits. Uh, as far as the amount you can get paid here, they don't have this exact job uh, title on here for their page, but they do have like a customer support specialist on average making around 49000 a year, which is about $24 per hour. If you look at reviews for Ink Sub overall, they have a 3.7 out of 5 star rating, 62% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit wise, we have a 4 out of 5 star rating out of 2 ratings. Interview wise, 3.1 out of 5 difficulty. And then pretty even split between positive and negative experience. Now this, these numbers between positive and negative and the difficulty, these are like almost exactly average, I would say, for most of the companies that I've covered. So I would say, you know, there's nothing to be alarmed by or anything like that. Just because the negative is a little bit higher than the other companies I showed you doesn't mean this is a bad place to work. It just means that, you know, some of the other ones might be a little bit better uh, culturally. But as far as um, overall, when you compare them to just the rest of the industry, these are pretty standard numbers. So as far as how much you're getting paid, again, it's around 49000 a year for this position. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. And also, please click the like button if this was helpful for you. I'm trying to find, you know, the most... Uh, popular types of opportunities that people want the most of so that I can find more for you and kind of prioritize better. And so clicking the like button when you actually did enjoy the video really helps me figure that out. And as far as comments, let me know if you have a question or want me to cover something in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.